Hello, this is Matt Heinzelman. I'm one of the curators at the Hill Museum and Manuscript Library. And today I'd like to show you a couple examples of books that I refer to as being perhaps twins or not exactly twins, perhaps a, an older sibling and a younger sibling. And what you have are books like this. These are two books that were printed in uh, the Netherlands in the, in the 17th century. And these are Latin classical literature works. This is a, a text by a man named uh, Claudian, and Claudian wrote several poems in the, in the classical period of, of Latin literature in the 2,000 years ago. And these two books, as you see, look very similar right from the beginning, from their covers. They both have parchment covers of some kind. Uh, they both are very careful, very simply uh, simple binding, but then they also have the labels that were handwritten onto them so that you could find your book. And then what happens is that when you open the book, uh, something very, something I would not have expected. So when you open the larger book, you find that rather than a, first thing you see is not a printed title page, but an, actually an engraved title page. So it's printed not from letterpress or from movable type, but printed from an engraving. And uh, you see here that it was printed in Amsterdam by the Elsevier family. And up here you see the author's name, Claudianus, or Claudian. Uh, and these are all of his works that they knew of at that time. And the depiction on the cover shows Persephone being dragged off to the underworld by Hades, uh, coming out of Latin and Greek mythology. And then as you go through the book, you find that the rest of it is the text of Claudian's works with lots of copious amount of footnotes that can be then used to study the text and to understand the text better. So this is, this is one way of presenting the text. Uh, from, uh, this was printed in 1665. Very close in time to that is this little edition, which is printed in 1650, also by the Elsevier family, also in Amsterdam. But if you notice, this first thing that you see is that the title pages are almost identical. They're not quite, because what you have here is it says that these are the works of Claudian that they could find. And these are the works of Claudian with all of the apparatus, all of the notes that you need to understand it better. But the two depictions from mythology are almost identical. So their artists at that time in the 17th century had to be constantly making new copies of books or new copies of pages like this that could be used in different books. The plates could be used for a long time, but these were uh, used in a way that they could then sell the book in two different formats. This one doesn't have all the notes that this one does. This one fits very easily into your pocket. This one would be a very handy one to have in your desk, uh, in your study so that you could then use it for, for further study. So that's one kind of twin, one way the books look alike. Another way that books can look alike is through, uh, again, using the engravings and making multiple copies of them. So this is a book of the life of St. Benedict. It was printed in the 16th century, so about 100 years before the other books. And I have to work a little bit at this one. This is another copy of the, the Life of Benedict, but this one was printed 10 years later in the 1590s. This one was printed in the 1580s. And this one, again, the, here the pages are not bound together, but what you have, very bad condition I'm afraid, is another copy of the Life of Benedict. And so as you go through if you look carefully, you will find that some of the pages are going to be the same pages in the two books. So here you have two copies of the same engraving, so to speak, same picture, same depiction, but engraved at different times and at different sizes. But all the details, all the people's faces were all copied in a way to make them look as much alike as possible. They may have been copied after a third uh, example of something from somewhere else. But this gives you uh, an idea of how these things were done in the, in the early modern period to make books that would look alike, but then if you have a new edition of a book, 
you can um, still have the same kinds of pictures. This one looks very similar here, but notice up here it looks quite different. So again, this is a kind of twin or perhaps a sibling, one that's bigger than the other, but still the same, uh, almost exact same page. So that's uh, a little bit about some of the ways the books can be twins in the early modern period.